Okay, so here's the deal. I have some updated information about Amy Joyner Francis. That was the young lady who got into a fight with some other girls in the high school bathroom. She was 16 years old at the time. This is in 2016. And everybody's kind of wondering, you know, like, well, what happens after that? Okay, we know that the young lady had a pre-existing condition. She, if I'm not mistaken, hit her head on the sink when she was struck during the fight. And, of course, you know, she unfortunately lost her life that day. And everybody's wondering whether or not the people that were involved were going to be punished and whatnot. So, let me see. I'm going to read two articles to you guys today. One is from DelawareOnline.com and the other one is from The Grio. So, let's start with DelawareOnline.com because the people involved are from Delaware. So, this is local news right here. So, Carl Baker and I hope I'm pronouncing this name correctly. Zerzez Wilson from the News Journal wrote the following article. It was posted on April 13th of 2017. It was titled, Joiner Verdict Shows, quote, Consequences of Actions. So here's what they wrote. And by the way, there's some video footage I couldn't post here on YouTube, but actually it's multiple videos, but I, I just wanted to read you guys the text. Okay, so here's what they wrote. Delaware Family Court Judge Robert Coonan, and yes, this is real, his real name, I'm not joking here. Delaware Family Court Judge Robert Coonan on Thursday found Trinity Carr, 17, guilty of criminally negligent homicide and third degree criminal conspiracy for the death of her classmate, Amy Anita Joyner Francis, at a high school in Wilmington last year. Coonan found Zion Snow, also 17, delinquent of third degree criminal conspiracy Shakira Wright I hope I pronounced your name correctly another classmate was found not delinquent of criminal conspiracy a delinquent finding in family court is a guilty verdict because they were tried as juveniles sentences may not include jail time prosecutors initially sought to try Carr as an adult but Coonan denied the request the judge will consider the severity of the crime and teens past history when he determines punishments next month. Prosecutors had argued Carr, Wright and Snow plan and quote attack on Joyner Frances, a term Coonan also used to describe the confrontation. It was quote not a fight between two teenagers squaring off to settle a mutual grievance end quote Coonan said. Carr struck the first blow without warning carrying on a relatively brief but violent attack and she had to be pulled off her victim, end quote. There was no sufficient evidence to show Wright had participated in the plan, Coonan said, quote, In the restroom video, but pause the story right there, let me just tell you guys something. They showed the video in court. So yes, there was an actual video. We all saw a video still of the young lady being attacked. However, there was an actual video, but it has not been released to the public, just for your information. Quote, in the restroom video, unlike Trinity Carr, who was the principal attacker, and Zion Snow, who was seen kicking Amy Joyner Francis while she is down, Shakira Wright is shown pulling Trinity Carr off, he said. Joyner Francis was 16 when she died April 21st of 2016, following the violent encounter with Carr at Howard High School of Technology. Dozens of girls watched the confrontation as it unfolded in the school's second floor bathroom and at least two recorded parts of it on their cell phones. The prosecution played the video clips which show Carr punching and kicking a prone, which means laying face down, Joyner Francis after she had fallen on the floor. After onlookers pulled Carr away, Joyner Francis could be seen clinging to what appeared to be Carr's shirt. Joyner Francis died a short time later after her breathing became labored and she lost consciousness while laying on the floor in the handicapped bathroom stall, according to testimony by students and faculty. Following the judge's ruling, prosecutor Sean Luge thanked the teachers at Howard, quote, they're maintaining the integrity of that very fine school, end quote. The verdict, he said, shows that, quote, consequences of one's actions must be something that's considered and kids as much as adults should be thinking about that, end quote. Dr. Adrian Sekula Perman, Perlman, the state medical examiner, testified that Joyner Francis suffered sudden cardiac death brought on by a rare combination of heart and lung defects. 
Contributing factors included the emotional and physical stress of the violent encounter, which triggered a fight or flight response, she said. The autopsy of Joyner Francis' body revealed she had a hole in the atrium of her heart and stiffened narrow arteries in her lungs. She also suffered soft tissue injuries from the fight, said Sekula Perman, who called the case a homicide and said the teen, quote, would probably still be alive if not for the stress of the confrontation. A witness for the defense, Dr. Richard Ringel, a professor of pediatrics at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, said the severity of Joyner Francis' rear condition made it impossible to conclude whether Joyner Francis likely would be alive today. Let me, let me just pause the story right there. This is really sick. The witness for the defense. It's really shameful that, I mean, come on now. We all know that this did not happen. She would be alive. Okay? Like, I, I, I just, it, it just sickens me the fact that it's legal to tell a lie like that in court. It, it just, it, it really, it boils my blood. A witness for the defense, Dr. Richard Ringel, a professor of pediatrics at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, said the severity of Joyner Francis' rear condition made it impossible to include whether Joyner Francis likely would be alive today. Quote, it might have been the next day or sometime down the road, he said. Coonan indicated how long she might have lived had the fight not occurred wasn't relevant to the charges. The evidence, he said, shows, quote, beyond a reasonable doubt that the death of Amy Joyner Francis was caused by the action of Trinity Carr, end quote. Quote, while it may be true that Amy Joyner Francis, due to her condition, could have died from a multitude of stressors, she had a right to live one more day, one more week, one more month or year until her time without a contributing cause by another, Coonan said. Carr's reaction in the months following the confrontation was one of, quote, a great deal of confusion as to how this could have ever possibly happened, said John Deckers, her attorney. Deckers and the other defense attorneys during trial argued the confrontation, while tragic, was between two mutual combatants, and no one, even doctors, could have predicted its deadly result. Lug reiterated on Tuesday that the confrontation was an, quote, attack and, quote, not a fight. Thank you. During proceedings, the attorney's litigation questions, such as what a, quote, reasonable person should expect as a result of a fight, what type of clothing is worn by kids preparing to fight and whether Joyner Francis was a victim of a planned attack by the defendants as prosecutors alleged. Coonan in his ruling said the question of what a reasonable person expects depends on one's age, an opinion that likely will set a new legal president in Delaware, said Romy Griesmer, supervising attorney and lecturer at Widener University Delaware Law School quote this is the first time a Delaware court addressed the issue of whether a youth's age should be considered in the negligence standard in terms of the state of minds of the defendant Greismer said quote and the judge did find that it certainly was appropriate end quote still Coonan said high school students should know that a fight could result in serious injury thank you Carr's failure to perceive the risk assumed in the accident constituted a quote gross deviation from the standard of conduct of her peers he said quote the attack poised a risk of potential catastrophic physical harm including death by virtue of the tile floor walls and fixtures coonan said had a death resulted from internal bleeding after striking her head on the floor would that result in any way change the risk that the assault itself created Furthermore, evidence presented during trial, including threatening messages posted by Snow on social media saying, quote, we gonna get her, demonstrated Carr and Snow were planning to attack Joyner Francis, Kuna said. Wright, to the other defendant, was present in the school cafeteria with Carr and Snow the morning prior to the attack and in the bathroom while it took place. But evidence does not show beyond a reasonable doubt that she was involved in the conspiracy, Coonan said. Carr and Snow will be sentenced on May 23rd. And then it showed some legal documentations from the case 
it's a bunch of pages here I think it's yeah eight pages so there's some additional information on the website that I'm not gonna read I'm not gonna read all these different court documents but the article goes on to say Sherry Dorsey Walker former Wilmington councilwoman who was acting as a spokesperson for Joyner Francis family said the message has been sent that there are consequences to your actions quote when we watch movies or television and we see such gratuitous violence maybe it's something that's embedded in our children so we probably need to look at the media and we need to look at what we're doing as adults to set better examples for our children end quote she said a proper sentence in may could be a quote deterrent to a future deadly high school attack dorsey walker said quote we can't let it be open season on our schools so thankfully there was a guilty verdict she said for the record, they even showed this girl, which I mean, with her being under the age of 18, with her being 17, I didn't even know that they could do that. But they actually showed the chick Trinity Carr when she was leaving court on that Thursday when this article was posted, what, in April 13th. And of course, there's a link to the article on my blog if anybody's interested in seeing what she looked like. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and read to you this the griot.com story. It's a short one, very short one. Now, this article was posted on April 13, uh, 2017 at 2.19 p.m. by the griot filed in news. The title of the article is Judge Convicts Teen in Delhi School Bathroom Fight. Here's what the article says. On Thursday, a Delaware judge convicted a 17 year old girl of homicide after a fight in a high school bathroom ended with one teenage girl's death. A second girl was charged for conspiracy, but a third girl was acquitted. All three defendants in the case were 16 at the time of the fight and were tried as juveniles. Amy Joyner Francis, the girl who died, was found to have died because of a sudden cardiac episode caused by the stress of the fight, which took place at Howard High School of Technology in Wilmington. The heart condition had been undetected by doctors until that point. While defense lawyers argued that the fight was between, quote, mutual combatants, and that there was no way the girls could have foreseen her death. <laughs> Prosecutors said that the assault showed, quote, a level of barbarism that reasonably would result in the outcome. Quote, distress, the unexpected nature of the attack, the brute ferocity of it raining upon her, all led to Amy's death, end quote. Deputy Attorney General Sean Lug said during closing arguments. After a week of testimony in which the three girls being tried declined to testify, family court judge Robert Coonan handed down the ruling on Thursday. Well, that's the one smart thing that they did do. <laughs> they shut their mouths in court. I mean, why take the chance on incriminating themselves? I mean, if they were dumb enough to do what they did, the last thing that they would want to do <laughs> is speak when they can let their lawyers speak for them. Now, that was a definitely a very wise decision. That was the, the one thing that I, I'm not saying that I'm giving them credit for it, but it was the one intelligent thing that they actually did do. Boy, oh boy. It's really shameful. They said that they were going to get her. You know, they were bragging about it. It was all fun and games. And then, you know, this young lady lost her life and it was completely unnecessary, completely avoidable situation. But yeah, you know. I think that they should be tried as adults personally jumping on people pouncing on them multiple attackers and whatnot you know the risk these people knew that she could have been severely injured or even killed they knew that they were committing a crime these are high school students if they're competent enough to do their schoolwork they're also competent enough to know what can happen to a person when multiple people are attacking them RIP Amy Anita Joyner Francis you know, I, it's really shameful what happened to you. And I hope that going forward, this unfortunate tragedy will help to open up people's eyes to what's going on with young people and their just complete disconnect. You know, it's so messed up because the adults are definitely a big part of it because the adults say things to the to the children like, well... You know, you kids are always shooting each other. You should stop shooting each other and fight. So those people that are encouraging young people to fight, who are making it normal in their minds, are also guilty to some degree. 
They may have not done these acts physically. However, pumping these children's minds with that poison, that violence is normal. It's like, you, you, you got to be kidding me. You, anyways, man, you know, I, I've seen so many people encourage violence in my lifetime, in person, on the Internet, on television, everywhere. You know, we live in a militarized country. And death is normal. People are obsessed with death here in America. You know, ask a woman what her favorite types of movies are. She might just tell you horror movies. Why the hell would you want to look at people dying to the point where people will fantasize about it? It's, it's sick. But anyways, what do I know? I'm just a blogger with a microphone. My words mean nothing. It's your words in the comments that mean everything. If you have a story to tell about something that you saw or something that you know, or you just want to say RIP to Amy or whatever, you know, just post it down below in the comments. RIP to Amy. Let me know what you think about it all below. Meet Magazine on YouTube, meetmagazine.blogspot.com, Meet Magazine on Twitter, Meet Magazine 7 on Google+, Meet Magazine blog on Instagram, and hit the notification button next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when new videos get posted. I'm going to be updating the story when the new information comes in because, you know, the what is it, the trial coming up May 23rd? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to stay up on top of the story. So, Meet Magazine, and I, and I wish to God that they would try it as adults. They knew what they were doing. They honestly just did not care. And if you would have asked them when they were angry at the time, I'm willing to bet good money. That for, for the record, this is all my opinion. But I think that if you were to ask them at the time of the incident, what if this young lady was killed by your actions? I'm willing to bet money that they would have said, I don't care. But this is all my opinion. What do I know? Meat Magazine.